Hey, good day. Hey, welcome to Drive Time. Uh, another day here in Vegas. It's a little cloudy today, but we're going to be talking about wealth. And if that's your favorite subject, stay tuned. See, if you're a business owner, or even if you work for someone else, it doesn't really matter which way you make your income. The challenge for a lot of people is misunderstanding money. And I, I have a contention, and I'm going to point it out to you in the next five minutes. Why wealth is actually easier than being poor or being in the middle class. Wealth is much simpler than both of those things. And, and yet people seem to think that it's easier to just stay average and be in that middle class or even be poor. That, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. Let me explain myself to you and cover off the, uh, what do we got? Uh, six things I want to cover off on today as to why I think that. And yeah, so type in where you're at. If you're new to drive time in particular, we do this every time and we find out where we're at and where we're going. Uh, I'm actually going to the airport to pick my wife up. She's been in Napa having a girl's trip for the last few days. So wealth. Firstly, what is wealth, all right? Wealth is the ability to live a number of days forward. What I mean by that is simple. If I can live for the rest of my life without working at the same level of spend or the same level of lifestyle as what I have right now, uh, without doing any work because I have passive income or income coming in that whether I work or not, then I am wealthy. If I can only live, like most people's wealth, wealth number is actually negative. They, they, if they stop working today, they're actually in the hole, all right? They actually have a negative position. They owe enough money that they can't stop working. Like that, that's their middle class nature. See, the problem with the middle class is you actually get a great credit rating. You can borrow money, so you do. And by borrowing all that money, you end up where most of your income goes to paying off debt. Most of your income goes to paying a mortgage, paying a credit cards, paying a car payment, whatever it might be. And so you're actually in that middle class, which middle class, in my opinion, the middle class is actually worse off than uh, the poor people. Because poor people, at least they live within their means. They, they don't have credit, so they have to live within their means, if that makes sense. So they're not deep in debt, they're not in all of that situation that middle class people are in. So let's take an understanding. If you can stop work today and you can live for say 60 days on what you've got saved up, or you can live for uh, two years, then that's your wealth number, okay? So that's the first thing we have to understand, that our wealth number is how many days we can live without having to work, all right? about being poor versus being rich, right? When someone's in a poor situation, their money comes in and they just spend the money. So they rent a house, they rent, a, you know, even they might even rent their car or they might have a, a car that is, well, they paid cash for it in most cases because they couldn't get credit. So what ends up happening is that poverty is just a misunderstanding of money. It's by allocating your money to the wrong things. And it doesn't matter how much income you have, if you allocate it to the wrong things, you'll always end up poor. You know, when I was a kid, I read The Richest Man in Babylon, and I think it was George S. Klassen who wrote that. I think I read that at age 16. And one of the clearest things that, that I took from that in the first lesson, oh sorry, second lesson for today, is that your money is not yours to spend. Your, your money is to pay the bills and start to build yourself some wealth, start to build yourself a future financially. And see, I see so many people, and especially millennial generation, where basically they're not trying to build for a future. They're not trying to take care of that future and build that wealth. And you know, I like the idea of buying back the rest of my life. If you can work 10 years and buy back the rest of your life financially, then that's the ideal position to be in. And that's why if, if you haven't studied my 30X Wealth or read The Wealth Coach or Billionaire in Training or The Real Estate Coach, read those books, study 30X Wealth, understand what you need to do to become rich. It's, it's you know, I guess we'll throw that in as an extra lesson. You can't out earn your learning. You can't be rich if you haven't studied rich. It's as simple as that. And so if you've got someone who you can study wealth with, then great, study wealth with them. If not, jump on my programs and, and start studying wealth. In fact, do it with a friend, do it with a family member. You know, get your whole family together and study wealth together so you can build a family wealth plan. All right, back to the lessons of why wealth is actually easier. So allocating money to the right spaces is not hard. Allocating a percentage of your income to the right places is very easy. All you do is you set up an automatic payment thing. You set up an auto plan 
where the money comes in, that's the third lesson of the day, set up an auto plan where money just goes into an investment fund. And you don't even have to know how to invest it in the beginning. All you have to do is set up an investment fund. And you can determine the amount. The habit is more important than the amount in the beginning. The actual habit of having money go to an investment is more important than the amount. If you can only do five bucks a week, do five dollars a week. If you can do, you know, a thousand dollars a month, then do a thousand dollars a month. But set up that automatic plan where that money goes into an investment account. It could just be a separate bank account. It could be a stock trading account, like an E-Trade account or something like that. It, it, whatever it is, have that money automatically go somewhere uh, uh, where you can't touch it, where you can't take it out. I know like in our family, because we have five kids, we have automatic plans that pay for their uh, uh, college tuition fund. So the money just automatically goes into an account from when they're born and that money is invested till they turn, uh, what is it, about 18, 19 when they go to college, right? It's automatic though, it just happens no matter what. Life insurance policies, it just happens no matter what. Investment funding, it happens no matter what. It's just taken out every single month, and that's where it goes, no questions asked. It's like paying your mortgage, you're paying yourself first, and that's the next lesson. If you wanna be rich, wealth is easier if you pay yourself first. You know, and, and that's what an investment, auto investment is. It's paying yourself first. And the number of people who can't be bothered to pay themselves first is, is just insane in my opinion. It is easier to have an automatic investment plan than it is to not have one. So make sure you do that, make sure you set that up. So next reason why it's easier, and this is the, I guess we get into the psychology of it right here, okay? Because let's, let's be honest about most people. Most people would rather look rich than be rich. Most people would rather impress the Joneses down the street then actually have the money aside. And that to me is, is another level of crazy. Once you give up the need to impress everybody else, once it's more impressive to have a hundred grand in the bank than it is to have a leased car sitting in your driveway that you can't afford, that isn't paid for by someone else or some other, you know, it's, it's crazy. I like having my assets paid for by someone else. Instead of buying an asset, I buy a business that pays for the asset. It's, it's not as complex as most people make it out. Study wealth, study richness. It's something you have to do and it will always pay you back. So, you know, give care more about what you think of your money. Care more about, and this is the order of the things. It, it goes people, money, things. Care about people first. Money second, that's cash and investments. Care about the money before you care about the things. If things are ahead of people, your life's gonna be crazy. If things are ahead of uh, actual investments and money, then life's gonna be crazy. Stop worrying about things, stop worrying about investments. Buy shares, don't buy shoes. Let's put that as a tag. Buy shares, not shoes. You know, simple one for that. And finally, why is wealth easier than that? Wealth takes 10 years, poverty and middle class takes forever. Boom, right there, mic drop. Wealth takes 10 years, the other stuff takes forever. Get wealthy, focus on wealth, don't focus on the other stuff. What's your top lesson from today? Type it in so that it becomes a reality for you. Type in your lesson, type it in now. Don't sit there and go, oh, I think my lesson is this. No, type it in so it starts to become a reality for it. I'm looking forward to it. Where you at, what's your lesson? Big important stuff. Take care, bye for now.